How's it going guys? Today I'm going to show you um, our parts bins and our machine shed. And, you know, this is where we get all of our bolts and all of any of our parts for our tractors and equipment. Um, first I'm going to show you our old parts bin, which um, we just kind of threw everything in and we had a small parts bin over on the left where we kind of had things sorted out but we didn't have them labeled and we didn't really know where everything was. We just kind of kind of threw it around, but this is our old parts bin. Um, as you can see, it's metal. And um, we still haven't gotten totally done cleaning it out. But um, we had parts of it labeled, but over the years it's just kind of gotten a lot of really cluttered and the dust has really accumulated in it. So what we did was we went and we got another parts bin from somewhere else um, that we already had. And we brought it up and put it where we used to have our oil drums over there. Um, it was right across from the bench, right where I'm looking at now. Um, and as you can see, this is this is the parts side of the parts bin. Um, if you read the labels, you can see square baler, bobcat. You get my drift. <laughs> um, but yeah, like chopper, planter. They already labeled it with marker, but we went over and really we relabeled everything. Um, yeah, you can't even hardly read it. It says roll pins, cutter pins, stuff like that. But um, anyway, um, what I really wanted to show you was the other side. This is where we have our bolts. Um, we kind of had a lot of space to play with, so this is all my idea. Um, so basically what I did, I took our wrenches. We had, we had wrenches from 3 8 all the way up to 15 16 um, Those are our most common ones. Um, maybe not so much on each end, but like we have a lot right in the middle. So let's say at the bottom of the spectrum, um, we have 7 16 We This would be 3 8 but we didn't really have enough 3 8 so I just labeled it screws. Um, but going across... In this row, this is the row that I took everything off of. This is where we have our bolts. We have like five sixteenths, three eighths. Um, actually, that's three eighths bolt, um, and nine sixteenths wrench, I should say. Um, five eighths wrench, three quarter wrench, thirteen sixteenths wrench. You get my drift. And then um, one step above that, above the corresponding um, bolts, like this is a nine sixteenths wrench size bolt. So up here we have 9 16 long bolts. And then above that, I put 9 16 carriage in there. So basically all of one size is directly in the row. Um, if you have a lot of space or bin like this, this is a really good idea because it gives us an idea of like how many bolts we have and um, what we need. But uh, below the bolts, I had nuts, just regular regular nuts. And then the final row below has um, 9 sixteenths. Yeah, this is washers and lock nuts. So um, any of these washers will fit around the 9 sixteenths bolts. Um, it's really... Basically what I did to sort it out is I took the size wrench and I put it in each of these. Then we had like buckets of bolts and I went through and just held them up to the bolts and I threw them in and it took quite a while, but eventually we did it. Um, then on each side, since we have some bolts that are bigger, I have one inch and up size wrench. So any that are any bolts that are really big, we just throw them in there. And we don't really use metric a lot, so we made a bin just for metric. Um, miscellaneous U bolts, um, and just more washes and lock nuts. Um, up here we had we had a lot of fine thread threads in this to begin with, so we just kind of put them in these. And um, down here, any of our random carriage bolts that we didn't really take the time to sort through, we put into here, which is our bottom right bin. Then um, flat washers, lock washers, random nuts, and uh, pipe fittings. And I don't believe this one, yeah. Out of this entire thing, this is the only one we don't we don't have any anything in. So, um, other ones we have are tin screws, 
regular screws and three eighths and smaller. So this is for our really small stuff. Today we are score bailing and here are two workers. How's it going guys? Great. Fabuloso, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're kind of weird. All right, so I think, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you later.